Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a birthday flyer today. So if you are new here, then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my video. And if you are old here, thanks, I really appreciate your following. So before any further ado, let's get started. So here I'm going to use 1080 by 1080 for social media banner post. Then leave your resolution at 300 and click on grades. So this is our background area now where we are going to work okay so as you can see now the first thing i'm going to do now i'm going to apply a solid color then this color i'm going to apply now is not black or white so i'm going to apply this silver color for this design then and i'm going to import this image here then scale it out Then you drag it to these positions. These are the place I mainly need in this tutorial. So the other area I'm going to leave it out. Okay. Then after this now, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select soft light. Then go to your free tab, select blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to use 8.0. All right. So then create a new layer. I'm going to select a brush then if you have a stroke brush then I'm going to pick this stroke 5 here then reduce the size so you can see the size now then I'm going to rotate it this way Then come back to your designing area and now I'm going to increase the size of the brush then apply it on it. Alright. So these are the area I'm going to use now. Then after this one, I'm going to import this image into my Photoshop. Then drag it over here. Then scale it out a little bit. Then rasterize it. Then go to your filter. Then go down to Photo Toolbox. And I'm going to apply skin final, then click OK. So you will see the adjustments on the skin. So what's happened here? You see that the skin is more smoother than before. Then I'm going to create a clipping mask on the brush. Then scale the picture out. All right. So I'm going to leave it this way. Then adjust it. Alright, then turn this one on. And I'm going to drag this one. This is the one I duplicate. Now turn it off. Then come back to this one. Then select the rectangle. You draw it like this. Then leave it at white. Then I'm going to skew it. Then you drag it to the right. Reduce the size a little, then you bring it to this position. Now I'm going to create another rectangle, then I'll leave it within this position and apply my adjustment. Then remove the free column, apply a scroll column. I'm going to use black for the stroke, then increase the size to five, I mean six. Then skew it again, this way. All right, click OK. Then select the right angle and drag it to this position. OK, so you can see now, then and I'm going to bring this image over here. So what I did here, as you can see, the image is now black and white. What I did on that image is to hold my shift and control, then press U to change the color to black and white. 
So after then I create a clipping mask on the first rectangle with a white background. Then I'm going to select this one, then arrange it this way. Okay, so now here I'm going to draw a little rectangle. Something like this. Then change the fill color to red. This is not pure red. This color here was copied from the from the color you are seeing in the background here. So then change it, the blending mode to overlay. Then it will give you something like this. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Ctrl plus J and drag it over here then drag it up so that you can see it then I'm going to change the color to black so something like this alright then now go back to your rectangle tools then select and I'm going to draw another rectangle here, like this. Then remove the fill color and I apply a stroke. Then increase the size by 5. Then I use dash dash. Then rasterize it. Select your lesser tool. And I'm going to cut it. Delete, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then you will have something like this. Now we are going to our test now. So here are the fonts I'm going to use a vertical and Brittany. So I'm going to copy the date here 24th. Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool. Now I'm going to change the font to her vertical. Then make it bold. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then highlight the TH, then apply superscript. Okay. Then I'm going to increase the size. Then position it where you want it to be. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then highlight it, Ctrl plus A. Then go back to your test and I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the font size. Alright, so use your arrow then to reposition it well. Then select a test tool. Then here I'm going to duplicate this test here, Ctrl plus J. Then while you drag it down over here, then highlight it, Ctrl plus A. Then come over to your test tool again. Then I make your copy, Ctrl plus C. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to apply this color here. So this color is from the shirt. Then duplicate it. Ctrl plus J. 
Then I'm going to highlight it, Ctrl plus A. Then copy your text, Ctrl plus C. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. But before that, I'm going to change the color to black. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to Brittany Signature. So I'll provide the name there so you can download and make use of it. Check under the description. Then I'm going to reduce this one. Then I'll leave it here. Then go back to your test again. And I'm going to copy the name. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Y, I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J. Then you drag it down. I like it. Ctrl plus A. Then you paste Ctrl plus V. Then increase the font size. Then you bring it down. Then and I'm going to copy my widgets. Then select your test tool. Then use the font uh, vertical. Then you paste it, Ctrl plus V. Then change the font color to black. Then reduce the space. Then change the font to regular. Then open the space a little, then adjust it. Alright, then I'm, I'm going to position it here and reduce the font size. Then drag it down. I'll keep it at this position, then increase the size. Then also apply the same thing to this one, increase the size. Then I'll drag it down. Also increase the size of this one. Then hold your shift key, then increase the size this way. Now I'm going to bring this one down over here, something like this. Then hold your shift key while you select, then I'm going to group it. Hold your shift key, then you select and group it together. Ctrl plus G to group. Then I also create another layer. And I'm going to apply another brush. Here I'm going to apply the brush stroke 8. If you want to have this brush, please join the membership channel. Then and you will have this brush. Then apply the brush over there. Then also apply the brush over here. Then I'm going to reduce the opacity to 73. It's okay. So the last thing I'm going to do now. Then I'm going to put import this word here. Power by. So something like that, then change the font to black and reduce the size. So something like this. So that is all. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. So please don't forget to join the membership channel. Thank you so much for following me.